welcome to Random Thoughts. I am Ray Sean Blyden. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to visit my store for art. Oh, you know, they have a saying that says, uh, whoa, let me see if I could, uh, I don't want to butcher it. Uh, what do they say? Uh, when you imitate someone. Uh, I'm just going to paraphrase, but imitating someone is the best form of flattery. If you know the exact way that's said, let me know in the comments. And I want you, I'm going to read this. I want you to tell me if Trump never brought this up, do you think that she would be saying this? Harris copies Trump. No tax on tips policy in a rally hospitality heavily in Nevada. Raise your hand if you believe that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. What would Joe what would Judge Joe Brown say? Okay, yeah. <laughs> we know what she is. Put it that way. Harris copies Trump's no tax on tip policy at rally in hospitality heavy Nevada. Let's see what is this? I missed it. This is this a meme? What is this? Let's see. Come on, what does it say here? Watching this wheel of fortune. What is that? Can't look away. Vice President Kamala Harris rolled out a promise to stomp out taxes on tips doing a campaign stop in Las Vegas Saturday, prompting former President Donald Trump to rip her for copying one of his signature Proposal. This true. He she should be ripped for it. Knee pad Harris. Though she spent a significant portion of her talk ripping Trump, the Democratic presidential nominee regurgitated one of his signature ideas at the top of her stump stump speech at the battleground state. It is my promise to everyone. Here, when I am president, we will continue our fight for working families of America, including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers, Harris told the crowd to a roar of applause. Trump, who has been touting the same idea since before Harris before Harris entered the race, immediately called out the former California prosecutor for pandering to the crowd in Nevada, which she was, which has one of the highest concentrations of tipped workers in the country. Kamala Harris, whose honeymoon period is ending and is starting to get hammered in the polls, just copied my no taxes on tips policies, the GOP presidential nominee wrote on Truth Social. The difference is she won't do it. She just wants it for political purposes. It's true. This was a Trump idea. She has no ideas. She can only steal from me. She can only be on her... No, that's what I... She didn't, he didn't say that. That... Ex-president first publicly unveiled. Okay, we know that. And look at this crazy guy that's that's supposed to be her running mate. Talk about weird. Some of the things he's done. He's a he's a weirdo. He's a weird one. If he's elected, Donald Trump intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. The knee patter says here. I can't take her serious. I really can't. She's she's a 
Who is this? Oh, this is the crazy one. I I don't have the patience for eating anymore. I have my Kamala fill for the week. I'm sick of her. I am sick of her. If you're sick of her, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. No, one second. My dogs are... I didn't take them out yet. They're not happy with me. They are not happy with me. I have not taken my doggies out. So, yeah, I'm sick of her. Because, honestly, if, if people... If, if you fall for this lying knee patter and vote for this knee pad witch, then you deserve what you get. And the problem is you you take us all down with you. So I have to fight against this nonsense. You okay, anyway, um, let me show you my store. So I've been touting my new store, but I haven't showed it. I've just, just uh, had the little jingle. So this is the store, rayshanshop.com. Um, and you can see it beats music AI art. So that's what we sell. And again, we, did, we didn't sell that in the past. We were drop shipping, which did, would turn out to be a disaster. I'll never go back into that. That's insane. Although, arguably, places like Walmart and but they're big corporations they can afford to drop ship because they can drop ship and buy things by the, in the bulk and have it local in the US and it's only you don't have the issues that I had and you can do quality control better but um anyway this is my store here you can see some of the art some of the art I want to particularly since I'm doing a political show here I'm going to show you a piece of political art here which is great trump reagan dream team this is good stuff here this is really good and there's more trump art if you are into trump there's much more trump art so uh there you go that looks amazing imagine uh, that he was alive and you had this dream team curious who would you want at the front of the ticket well, you want Trump, Reagan, or Reagan, Trump? Let me know in the comments which way you would go and why. I'm curious to know how you would go. I mean, I was too young, but I always loved Reagan. I, I don't, you know, understand politics as the way that I do now back then. So I can't, I, I, but in my current state, I would have to say I would do Trump Reagan I would do I would do it the way it is how I have it Trump Reagan it's just um I think that his policies are are much more conservative leaning towards you know not doing wars and stuff like that but uh let me show you some more some more Trump art if you want some more Trump art, by the way, when you're at, when you are in my store, because not everything is, is uh, in the storefront. So on the top, you'll see something that says buy AI art. That's where you would click and you would go to where many of my uh, artwork is. whether it be religious pieces you're looking for. Abstract, I should show you, huh? I should show you while I'm scrolling through this. Let's see. Whether it be religious pieces here. Abstract. You know I had to put dog breeds in there, my favorite. Of course, Chip is in there. Maggie, where's Maggie? Well, I didn't put Maggie yet, but she'll be in there soon. Then you have 
these amazing pieces here. Right here. This one is one of my favorite pieces. It's called The Deep State Plotting. That's just awesome. So anyway, that's you can check my store out that way. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Random thoughts, politics.